In other words, Africa needs to develop its natural resources without repeating the mistakes of other countries. That means we need to focus on environmental protection. Today, what we want to do, well, we've developed bauxite mining, mining as well as iron ore. Unfortunately, before I became president, the situation was a bit different. Simono was the main mining site, but a lot of that mining didn't actually happen. The mine wasn't actually developed, and that was a loss for us. So how can we recover? How can we recover from that? The first thing we did was to make public all of the mining contracts that we have in Guinea. The second thing we did was to withdraw 800 mining permits from licensees. People had licenses, but they didn't even know where the mines were located in some cases. In addition, there were other requirements that we had in our code that people were not upholding. That is why we withdrew all of those licenses. We also have focused on local content. What does that mean? A certain percentage of the revenues that mining companies earn has to go back to local communities and to address environmental concerns. In addition, 15% of mining revenues will go to infrastructure. Oftentimes, we see most development happening in cities, but there is a lot going on in rural areas, and much of the population lives in rural re areas. That is why we want to give 15% of mining revenues to develop these rural communities. Another challenge that we are facing today is processing raw materials, but not just that. Because of colonization, we have been condemned to being producers of raw materials and not so much of finished products. Therefore, if we are to develop, we need to have better control over the value chain. From the beginning, that is mining bauxite, all the way through to the commercialization process. Seven out of ten Africans do not have access to energy, and without energy, we can't develop. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos from Brookings.